Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mr. Collector123 here back with another video. Uh, honestly, it's been a few years since I posted a video last, but um, I kind of want to get back in the groove of it. I'm just posting, you know, a little common cause, nothing too long. Uh, just go over some stuff that I picked up recently. Um, so I'm just going to pick up some or show you some stuff that I picked up over the weekend. Um, so first was actually a AOK. -okay from Mike Bravo. Uh, thank you, Mike. Uh, he gifted me this web of Spider-Man number 96. I really do love this cover. It's also a new stand, as you can tell. And, um, yeah, thank you, Mike, for this. I uh, really appreciate it. I do, this is my first time owning that book as well. So next is, I picked this up in an auction, uh, Strictly's auction on YouTube. You can check them out. Um, picked up Deadpool Black or Black White Blood number four of uh, the first Sakura. Uh, this is her first appearance in comics. She's actually introduced in a Deadpool manga. Uh, I'm not sure what the um, title of it is exactly but this is her first appearance in comics. Uh, I actually got this from Paul Comics so thank you Paul for that. Um, now we'll go back yesterday which I went to a local comic book show which is Houston Collector's Showcase. Um, honestly, it's one of my favorite conventions, or not conventions, but a uh, comic book show um, that I that I go to yearly because it's legit 80% comic. Let's just dive right into it. Uh, so first thing I actually picked up were these. I know I'm talking about comics, but I picked these up for my uh, nephew and me. So um, my his name, um, his business is called 8-Bit, um, 8-Bit Blacksmith. Uh, so he makes these 8-Bits. And tell me that's not the coolest thing. Uh, I think he's like 14 or 15, so I, I definitely want to support him. I mean, he, you could tell he worked his butt off for these. Uh, I think this is cool. Galago, my favorite game of all time. I wasn't even alive when that game came out, but I love it. Um, of course... Anyone that knows me knows I'm a Miles fan, uh, so I got the one that he had. And I already gave out the other ones to my cousin and nephews, but uh, the one that I'm keeping is, I mean, look at this. I'm just going to try to show you. I mean, just, I mean, look at the detail. I mean, that's awesome. So he doesn't have um, a website or he doesn't have an Instagram yet, but when he does, I will um, go back in here and, Put that in the description below so yeah definitely awesome job you did all right so first book that i picked up which i this is i think my third copy is green letter number 25 uh first large freeze and um atrocious um yeah there's a variant out too that i do not have that i'm looking for i actually have uh the newsstand for this one as well um I really dived into New Stand a lot this year. Um, really hard to find stuff, but I'm glad to pick that up. Second book I picked up um, was Justice League 50. Uh, this is the second print. This is the first full Jessica Cruz. Um, you know, with Green Lantern uh, coming out with the show, you know, I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of characters coming out that, you know, people don't really talk about as much. And, uh, I like Jessica Cruz. I think she's a really awesome character. Um, I actually picked those books up from uh, Clutch City Comics. Uh, that guy, too. Awesome, awesome guy. Always gives me great deals on books. So if you're ever... Uh, he always goes to that show as well, the Houston Collector Showcase. I don't know if he's setting up for Bedrock Con, but uh, awesome guy. Next thing I picked up it was actually from him as well was not one but two copies of Miles Morales Spider-Man number six. This is the first Starling, which is Vulture's granddaughter. Um, I do have already a few multiple copies of this, but like I said, um, my boy gave me a great deal, always gives me a great deal. And last, no, actually I got two more books that I got from him. Um, the book that I showed originally that Paul, I got from Paul Comics, this is the 1 in 25. 
um, Deadpool Black, White, and Blood, issue four. Um, this is a really sought after book. Uh, got a great deal on it. Uh, glad to pick this up. This is my second copy. Now, the last two books are my biggest, I think the most exciting books that I picked up in the last month. Uh, I've always been looking for this one. Like I said, I got it from him. Clutch City. Thunderbolts number four. This is the Philip Tan variant. There's actually, this is a ghost book. It's super hard to find. Um, I believe there's five covers for the Thunderbolts, the all red. Um, I believe it's obviously it's Deadpool, the Punisher, which is I, which I have. Uh, there is Red Hulk. There is I believe Electra. And there's one oh and Venom. So hard to find books, guys. Uh, if anyone has some of the other ones, uh, let me know. I'll, I would love to possibly buy it if you have an extra or if you just want to sell it. Uh, last book that I got, which is a huge book for me, uh, I got this from Rick's Comics. I believe it's Rick's Comics 10 um, is his business. Uh, another awesome guy, him. it's a um, father and son business. They always come to Houston as well. They're based out of Dallas, um, which is Ultimate Comics Spider-Man 3. So, which is the fourth appearance of uh, Miles Morales and the uh, first appearance of Judge, which is uh, one of his friends. But what makes this book special is it's a newsstand. And if anyone knows anything about newsstands, um, this, this year, because it came a couple years later, is when the newsstands ended in 2013. The newsstands are only 1% of the total value of the regular print run. So it's super rare, hard to find. Um, now, what what I said about this being a special book to me, besides it being a newsstand, is I only need one more book to complete all my 1 through 5 uh, newsstands of Ultimate Comics Spider-Man. And that would be the last key I need for the newsstands. I have Ultimate Fallout 4. Uh, I have one through four as of right now. I just need the number five. And I also have the first meetup between Miles and Peter and Spider-Man number one. So, like I said, it's a it's a huge book for me. Um, Rick said he actually has a number five, but he's going to get it graded. And he's going to let me know when he comes back and we're going to talk. But hopefully in the next few months I can get that five and I would complete it. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, sorry if I ran it on a little longer than expected, but yeah, it's, uh, glad to be back on here. Um, but yeah, just want to say thank you guys for watching and hopefully everyone had a good Labor Day weekend and until next time guys, bye.